Hi everybody, so today we're making a really cool optical illusion um, 3D circle. Uh, it's by a artist named Victor Vasarely and um, we're just going to go step by step um, on how to give it this three dimensional look and you just got to follow along with us. Hi everybody, so step one is to draw a circle in the middle of your paper. Um, I'm using a coffee lid, but you guys can use a cup, a bowl, or anything in your house that's circular, that is medium size, that takes up most of the paper. Step two is drawing lines. So you need to find a straight edge, whether that's a ruler, I'm using a folder, and you want to start by drawing one down the middle, right through the circle. Then move a small amount over, but this time you're going to skip the circle and you're going to do that all the way across. The next step is to connect the lines that you skipped over, but you want to mirror the circle shape. That's how you're going to make it three dimensional. So it'll look like that. Now you're going to do the same thing the other directions. Draw the lines sideways, only drawing through the circle in the middle. So I've got my straight line across the middle, and now I need to connect these ones with the curve again, up here, and the last one right there. Now you're going to start coloring. So the pattern is that every other box is a different color, then when you get to the next row you switch. So right now I'm coloring in the background, going, switching the colors for each row, and I'm just making sure that I'm avoiding the circle, because that will be the next step. So when you're coloring in the circle, you want to continue the pattern, which might be a little confusing. To figure it out, follow the line of the squares of the same color, so this is blue, this is blue, so this one will be blue. Then this one will be blue. And this one. You can continue to figure it out because then you can go this way, so this one will be blue. And then this one will be blue. And it's still every other one. So blue, red, blue, red, blue. Okay, so once you've finished coloring, you wanna make it look a little more three-dimensional. So you're just gonna press hard for each color right where the circle is. That is step one of making it three dimensional. So the next step is to add shadow. You're gonna use a black colored pencil or crayon and you're gonna color really dark on the edge of your circle and then around your circle a lighter blackness um, in the shape of a circle almost, like a half circle. And then I did add a little darkness all the way around the edges too. And the last step, across from the shadow, you're gonna add a little whiteness, which is a glare or a shine to simulate where the sun would be shining, which is why there's a shadow. I did it by just erasing. Um, you can also use white colored pencil or a white crown to add a little more lightness to it. And it's kind of just in the shape of mimicking the side of the circle. And you just want to give it a little glare to make it a little more three-dimensional. 